Hey, what's up? I'm Colton. I'm Joey. I'm Eric. I'm Anthony. I'm Thomas. And we are Midnight Red. Okay, um, what was your first impressions of one another? Well, I was the last member of the group added, so I I met them all as they were like together, and my first impression was, wow, they're so talented, they dance and sing at the same time, they're gonna do amazing, I wonder what I'm gonna do in my life. Now he's here. I made it. You can do anything, kids. I remember when I first met Eric, I thought like the whole California cool vibe was so weird because I was from Texas and he was the first one that I met. And I was just like, how is he so carefree? And he's been like that like as long as I've known him. That's awesome. Um, how long have you guys been together as a band? Two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, just two Coming weeks. Up? We're going on the past two weeks. Yeah. Good morning, America. It was great. <laughs> we've known each other for a couple of years now. Um, you know, we've uh, we've kind of created a brotherly bond. You know, long enough for a brotherly bond to form, and we're having fun doing this and living our dreams. Couldn't ask for anything more. <laughs> um, who is your dream person to collaborate with? I think yeah, we would love to collaborate with Nikki Azalea. Because we're so Justin fancy. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess Justin Timberlake. Yeah. Miley. If we're not too busy. Miley. If we're not too busy for him. Understandably. Alright. Um, I know you guys are soccer fans. Hey, Who do you guys want to win the World Cup? USA. Who's playing? USA. USA. Everyone. It's like speaking of, I was just talking about how I love that. I think. Picture right behind you. Yeah. Of soccer. Oh, soccer. Playing oh, this is in Italy. Oh, yeah. Okay, then Italy. I think it might come down to either Germany. Germany is pretty good. I think that's what it comes down to. I'm going with Portugal. Okay. Portugal's good. They have uh, Mongolia. Mongolia. Cristiano. Yeah. Madrid. Spain. 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 Um, before you guys go on stage for shows, do you have any rituals before you go on? We do. They're, we always they're make actually, sure. Yeah, they're pretty weird. We, we have a prayer, so we do like a prayer, and Big Bart usually leads it. And then um, after the prayer, it's I don't know how to explain it. Like, how do you... I mean, we thank baby Jesus and his baby disciples. Got to. Because um, it'd be creepy. You know, you gotta, like, praise <laughs> the Lord. And then, uh, go Big Lexi. Which is a body. Go Big Lexi! Hey! Yeah. I can tell. Get this hashtag text. <laughs> um, what has been your favorite part of being a band so far? Having four, four other guys around, like my brothers. Uh, I only have a sister, so you know I'm the only one that doesn't have a brother in the group. But now you got plenty. And now I got four other ones, so that's what I mean. Yeah, we never knew there were so many cool people out there. Yeah, no, they come out strong. Like, coming I in hot, the redheads. I sent out a tweet about this, and there might have been like 50, 60 replies like within like an hour. I was like, oh wow. Wait, we don't, they don't play around. <laughs> I don't think so, no. Um, is there any song you guys get sick of singing? One club at the I mean, <laughs> we love all our music. Keep it real. <laughs> no, we love all our music. We love all our music. It actually depends, I think, like, you know, night by night. There are times where you can sing a, we can perform a song we hadn't in a while that we maybe were tired of, and then you go back to it and you're like, oh yeah, this was really fun at one point. Like, yeah. So it really just depends. Like, you know, you don't have like a favorite song for your whole entire life. So it does change variably. Politically correct. That's very nice. <laughs> um, I know you guys have been singing in Spanish. Are you all bilingual? I okay. speak fluent Spanish. That's awesome. I, know. That's <laughs> I speak fluent Mandarin. I, no, I'm kidding. I don't okay. speak anything. I speak a little bit of French. <laughs> he speaks fluent Spanish. Speak, I speak Spanish. Uh, uh, Spanish. I speak my own type of Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> but you can definitely understand it if you really try. Um, it's, it's, it's definitely it's fun because we have such a um, big Latin fan base, like in Latin America and in Spain. Which we're going to Spain like in a week, two weeks so weird. from now. Um, and it's always fun, like when you know the recording process of, of re-recording something in Spanish. It was I was kind of like coaching them on, on certain like Spanish stuff and it was fun. <laughs> Not Eric. <laughs> Eric. Not even Eric. Yeah. Yeah, it was weird. cool, you know, we all learned a little bit. And is that like weird French, singing a different handle. language? Yeah, because you have no idea what you're actually saying. Don't know what I'm saying. It's just but, like sound. Yeah. You don't know the language, you're just like lost. But that's the beauty of music. You don't need to know what you're saying. The melody is so strong. You can feel it without knowing what the words Like, can you feel it right now? Absolutely. Good. She feels it. <laughs> Good.
Um, if today was your last day on earth, how would you spend it? With my family. Yeah. I would spend yeah. it eating with my family, with my chubby. Okay, okay, okay. okay my but family. I'm, I'm gonna eating my turn family. the question a little bit. It's your last day on earth, and we're in New York all together. And you right don't have now. time to go see Street your Street through Times Square. What are we doing? How many, days are, how many hours are left of the day? Well, Not enough time I to would, get back to California. Okay. Um, get, oh, I think I say we do like a movie night in a hotel. Or, movie? Well, not movies, but You're like You're going to want to sit in silence? No, no, no. Like, well, no, no, I'm sorry, 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 I'm sorry. Ice JJ, like do Ice JJ fish, but food. Food is quintessential. Food for sure. I, I, yeah. I say we send out a tweet, one last performance in yeah. Times Square, be there. Ooh. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So yeah. one big Go performance. One more. <laughs> and then the meteor hits. <laughs> yeah. Bam, bam. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. no they no. say nothing lasts forever, I hear, so. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Wow. <laughs> anyway, we're um, stumped up. No more questions. Uh, okay, here we go. So if it was the last day on Earth, what would you do? What would you, yeah, what would you do? What would I do? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Besides be at our show, we yeah. <laughs> would be front row. Definitely. Ooh, front row. Yeah. Um, Appreciate that. What's the next question? Flip <laughs> right, it over. What's your favorite car? <laughs> That's the one, yeah. Um, Props on the questions, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Do you guys ever watch your own performances or interviews online? Yes. Yeah. Do you think we're not going to watch this back? We yeah. will. <laughs> Sometimes we get really, really tired when we don't sleep and we're yeah. just delirious through our interviews, so it's always really fun just to watch it back. Like right now? Yeah. And plus, like, you know, I, I know what's going on right here, but then you'll watch it back and be like, I didn't see Thomas do that. Yeah. See? <laughs> well, and we'll There's a lot of gems to, you know, find in the high interviews. Buried in Sultry there. moments, if you will. Sultry moments with Midnight Red. And that's why it's good it, like, to come to multiple shows of ours because you're not going to get the same thing every time and you're going to see a different person doing something different each night. So I think that's pretty fun. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, we received a lot of questions on Twitter and a frequent one was, would you guys date a fan? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Fans are people, and, so I like people. We are. Fans are friends, <laughs> not food. People are people, people, come on people, people are people. Never say never. Um, have you guys had like one moment where you're just like, wow, like I'm never going to forget this? Today, today was one of those moments. This girl ran. Oh. Or she ran like I'm talking about full sprint Sprinting. for about track meet. At least half a mile. At a quarter mile. At least quarter mile. Quarter mile. Yeah. At, at least one around the track. Chasing our chasing our car. In the rain, crying. And all she would chasing. do is get to the car and just touch the window. She left everyone else behind. And we, we felt running. bad. We we're like, well, what, what, do you, what do you what do we do? Like, what do you, what do you expect? Like, what do you want to happen? So like, we were stopped at a red light, and Joey opened the window and was like, hey, like, I don't want you to get hurt. Here's my hand. I kissed her hand and running. sent her on her way, but she yeah. kept coming. And then she started crying and she was doing her. And she's here right now actually. <laughs> she enjoyed it. She's downstairs. She ran here. <laughs> From California. Um, who have you been most influenced by musically? Who uh, can't travel? Oh, Stacy Arico. That was good. Cool. Uh, she was great. Uh, 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 collectively, like we all grew up in that time period when you know it was like the big pop boom with like Britney, Christina, Insync, Backstreet Boys, and everyone was like going head to head, and you know everyone had like their favorite band or favorite artist. And I think that era really helped us want to do what we do today, and we're hoping to recreate somewhat of that type of feeling as we one, used to. One, grew element, up. one element that I think drives, that's not like an inspiration, like another musical inspiration that inspires our music is dance, because that's a big yeah. element. So whenever we're trying to create like a new song or we want to make new music. That's always a big element in our mind, like, well, what's the live performance going to be like? Oh, I can imagine, you know what I mean? This, if it's not a yeah. ballad, but that's a big driving force for sure. Well, actually, to, like, spill some secrets, the four of us don't want to dance on stage, but Thomas makes us. He's like, you have to dance. And we're like, oh. He says, we can't get out there unless you're dancing. Oh, true. And we dance. It's a good show. <laughs> it works out. It worked out. Promise. Um, if you could be one person, dead or alive, for a day, who would you be and what would you do? Um, Julius Caesar. <laughs> That's a great choice. Julius Caesar. You'd have to watch your back all the time. I know. Just for a day. Just for a day. <laughs> 
Who would I be? Uh, who would I be? Uh, da, da, da. Uh, Seth MacFarlane. So I could do all his voices. That'd be fun. Yeah. Just like go up behind somebody and do Stewie's voice. Michael Jackson actually would be really interesting to <laughs> um, when you guys performed at Jones Beach on Sunday, which you did really good, Thank you. Um, how long did you guys rehearse for that show? We did five minutes. We've been we rehearsing our whole life. <laughs> we, um, we just we got had, off tour. Yeah. And we only had like a, I want to say like a four yeah. or five song set, so we've done these four or five songs for the past couple years, so we could do them blindfolded, really. Yeah, we, <laughs> we have. Yeah. We have. On TV. Tisha. Tisha. I can do it now. Did we have any like, did we have to like alter anything? A lot of times, like when you, we need a rehearsal, is when something needs to be altered for mm -hmm. the show or something. But I think this one. One thing you couldn't prepare yeah. for that show was how bright it was. Yeah. Like, oh, Eric no, was the yeah. only smart one that wore some sunglasses. I wanted to, but forgot him. Okay. Yeah. And I, I, I was like this half the time just so I could see people because it was just blinding. Even these guys can't rehearse that. Oh, bright. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, this is probably the biggest question we got. Oh. When is your album coming out? The fall. Oh. The fall. Timber. Fall of 2014. Oh. Expect it. That was another question. We're trying to oh, go on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is on to you. That was... You guys we're, killed we're two words with one stone. Be on the Don't you worry. We got first one. <laughs> okay, we'll try it again. I'm sure this one will be good. Here we go. Ready? And, uh, good. And last one, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Swing. Nice. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Thank you guys so much. Awesome. Great interview. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good question. For real, like we do a lot of interviews, and so it's kind of just great question. Where'd you get your sweater? Um, That's awesome. I think I got it at a thrift so store. I, I like just took a knife and I went. Oh, you did that? Mm -hmm. I thought it was a thing. Yeah, it was like normal. All you need to do is kind of just like. Okay.